Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the memorial of St. Raymond of Peñafort. Raymond of Peñafort was born near Barcelona around 1175. He became a canon of the Diocese of Barcelona and afterward joined the Order of Preachers. At the command of Pope Gregory IX, he produced a collection of canon law. He was elected general of his order and directed it wisely. The Summa Casuum, which treats of the correct and fruitful administration of the sacrament of penance, is the most notable of his works. He died in 1275. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, Come let, let us, us worship Christ, Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Please be seated. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-stringed lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the heart. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works! How deep are your designs! The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes look in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In Him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Extol the greatness of our God. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain, and my discourse permit like the dew like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown, or proclaim the greatness of our God. The rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways. 
a faithful God without deceit, how just and upright He is. Yet basely He has been treated by His degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you, O stupid and foolish people? Is He not your Father who created you? Has He not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old. Reflect on the years age upon age. Ask your father, and he will inform you. Ask your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the number of the sons of God. While the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of holy desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader. No strange God was with him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation! How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish, that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, you gave St. Raymond the gift of, com of compassion in his ministry to sinners. May his prayers free us from the slavery of sin, and help us to love and serve you in liberty. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we have this confidence in God that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in regard to whatever we ask, we know that what we have asked him for is ours. If anyone sees his brother sinning, if the sin is not deadly, he should pray to God and he will give him life. This is only for those whose sin is not deadly. There is such a thing as deadly sin, about which I do not say that you should pray. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that is not deadly. We know that no one begotten by God sins, but the one begotten by God he protects and the evil one cannot touch him. We know that we belong to God, and the whole world is under the power of the evil one. We also know that the Son of God has come and has given us discernment to know the one who is true. And we are in the one who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life, Children, be on your God against idols. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. 
Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all His faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in His people. Please stand. great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone jars water there for Jewish ceremonial washings, is holding twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus told them, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the wine that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then, when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the beginning of his science at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. God never fails in his promises. I declare it again. God never fails in his promises. Alam ko po at ko yung naniniwala na yun rin ang kadahilanan kung bakit kayo naririto na sa dampanan ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Sapagkat kayo rin po ay naniniwala that God never fails in his promises. Ito ang kadahilanan kung bakit kayo ay gumising na napakaaga para pumunta rito sa, sa Manawag upang magdasal at magbigay puri sa aking Panginoon, sapagkat kayo ay naniniwala that God never fails in His promises. Today, when we heard the readings, there are two things that we are reminded about God answering our prayers. 
The first thing sabi dito sa, sa first letter of St. John, ang sinasagot na panalangin ng Panginoon ay yung mga panalangin na aayon sa kanyang kalooban. Uulitin ko. Ang sinasagot na panalangin ng Panginoon ay ang mga panalangin na aayon sa kanyang kalooban. Kaya nga siguro po, kapag tayo'y nagdarasal, yun ang una nating itatanong. Ito na bang ipinagdarasal ko ay naaayon sa kalooban ng Diyos? Ito bang pinagdarasal ko kapag ito'y binigay sa akin ng Diyos, magagawa ko ang kanyang kalooban? Sapagkat ang pagsagot, kapag ang sagot ay oo, madalas po ang lahat ng panalangin na ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos ay nasasagot. At yun rin ang sinabi ni San Juan sa kanyang unang sulat. Ang sabi niya, we can have confidence in God that He will hear us if we do His, if that is according to His will. If our prayer is according to God's will. Yung pangalawa ay isang bagay na makikita natin doon sa event ng wedding of Cana. At ano po yun? Sa mga sinasagot na panalangin ng Panginoon, ang unang ginagawa ay ang paghingi ng do whatever He tells you to do. Ibig sabihin, kapag tayo'y nanalangin, meron tayong effort na ginagawa din in discovering what God wills for us. Kailangan natin makita yun. Kailangan natin i-embrace yung reality na yun. Na kapag tayo'y nagdarasal, dapat ito ba yung ginugusto ng Diyos para sa akin? Kasapagkat kuminsan, may mga panalangin po na maaaring lumayo sa atin sa Diyos. May mga panalangin na kuminsan hindi binibigay ng Diyos sapagkat alam niyang ikakasama natin ito. At iyon ang kadahilanan kung bakit yung pangalawang kondisyon sa panalangin ay dapat ginagawa ba natin ang kalooban ng Diyos. Do whatever He tells you to do. Interesting po itong moment na ito sa, sa gospel sapagkat when it was said to Jesus by the Blessed Mother, there was some hesitation from the Lord. The Lord was hesitating to grant the request. But it seems to the Blessed Mother that this is the hour for you. The Lord was saying, this is not yet my hour. And yet the Blessed Mother was telling him, this is the hour for you. And it reminds us something about the power of mothers in the lives of their sons and daughters. Talaga pong ito isang bagay na makikita at mararamdaman mo. Yung nanay ko po, napakagaling po noon pag humihingi ng request. Ang gagawin lang ng nanay ko, paghihingi po yan ng request, ay ginagawa yung method namin sa kanya kapag kami naman ang humihingi sa kanya ng something. Kung ang tatay ko kailangan po magbigay ng rational explanation sa lahat ng hinihingi, yung nanay ko ang kailangan lamang po noon ay hug. Ihahag mo lang siya. At pag hinag mo na yon, bagsak ang defenses ni mama. Ibibigay at bibigay sa'yo whatever you ask. Pero, kapag siya naman ang hihingi, the same method ang ginagawa ng nanay ko. Magpapakyut yan sa iyo. Magpapakyut. At ang pagpakyut niya ay isang bagay na makikita mo sa kanyang mata. Na para po bang pag nakita mo ng mata ng nanay ko at ikaw yung anak, wala kang magagawa kung hindi ibigay ang kanyang hinihingi. Somehow, this event reminds me kung bakit si Jesus, after saying no initially, was able to do the first miracle in His public ministry. It's because of the mother. It's because of the mother. Kaya nga siguro, ganun din po ang ginagawa natin ngayon. We are all here begging for her intercession. Na sana Lord, sana Mama, Mama Mary, i-move muli si Lord ulit. I-move muli si Lord to answer my prayers. Please, tell your son to answer my prayers. 
Kaya nga nandito tayo sa damba ng ito. And yet, alam niyo po kung isasagot sa iyo ng mahal na ina? Do whatever He tells you to do. Sa madaling sabi, there must be some effort in our, on our part if we want our, our prayers to be answered. There must be some efforts in our part if we want our prayers to be answered. Kaya nga siguro mga kapatid, I invite you as we continue our celebration, keep asking yourself this question. Is my prayer according to the will of God for me? Yung ipinapanalangin ko ba ay naaayon sa kagustuhan ng Diyos? Sa kapagkat kung sagot ay o, oh, sabi ko nga, ibibigay at ibibigay yan ng Diyos sa inyo. Walang reservations. Kapag yan ay naaayon sa kalooban ng Panginoon, ibibigay niya at ibibigay yan para sa inyo. Sabi nga, kung para sa inyo, para sa inyo, at ibibigay yan ng Diyos sa inyo. Amen. We now stand confident that we can expect the same compassion shown by Jesus to the newlyweds at Cana and Galilee. We make our prayer to our Heavenly Father. For every intention, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always keep her best as Christ gave the best wine to the newlyweds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That couples who are planning to marry may turn to Jesus to strengthen their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples whose relationship have turned dull and sore may discover the presence of Jesus, who is the source of all love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick or husband may experience the healing power of God's love in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we have promised to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our missions and for our brothers and ministry at Ruma Biara Santo Dominicus and Ruma Biara Thomas Aquinas, Indonesia, and St. Dominic, Sri Lanka, St. Antonius General Santos, Kamigin, and Kalayan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have died in Christ may enjoy His eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayers, spoken and unspoken, so that we may experience your Son's gentle and loving presence in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, as we offer prayers and gifts at your altar, help us imitate the devotion of our brother Raymond to the law of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. We praise and bless you today for Saint Raymond. He walked in the way of our Holy Father Dominic. You led, you led him into the path of perfection, nourished by Dominican life and by the sacraments of faith, ardent for the salvation of all. Raymond labored with apostolic seal to lead all men and women in the fullness of your truth. Through our celebration, we are inspired to imitate him and are strengthened in our vocation as preachers. Now in company with the saints and angels, we praise you forever. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of fate. We will name your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Glorious Martyrs, with Saint Raymond, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ang inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen, at isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has, he has raised, raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What, what you, you say of me does, does not come from, from yourselves. yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Let us pray. Lord, may this celebration of the Eucharist and the feast of our brother Raymond 
increase our strength and joy, and enable us to come to the fullness of your law of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming 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 salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa dambanan ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Nawa po ang bawat isa sa inyo ay pagpalain at pagbigyan ng Diyos sa inyong mga kahilingan. Pero ang pinakamahalaga na nawa itong kahilingan na ito ay naayon sa kanyang kalooban. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go the Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We now shall pray for the for those who are sick, and we also remember those who cannot come to the basilica, our family members, relatives, friends, and, and and those people whom we promise to pray for. We also remember them as we pray for the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will greatly bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ, our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray for the blessing of those religious articles and rosaries that we have. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed be made holy. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 